Welcome to Elf Hosted. You've got all the right moves. Let's talk about how to set up a Plex Infinite Streaming Stack using the R's and NZB Dev to source your content from Usenet. The very first thing we want to do is claim our Plex server. So you're going to go to plex.tv slash claim, get this claim code that you're given, copy it to your clipboard. Back on your Elf Hosted dashboard, scroll down to Elfbot, find Plex, click on the three dots, click Claim Plex Server, paste in your code, claim the server, and now Plex will restart. This process takes a few minutes, so while that's happening, let's set up NZB Dev. Jump back to your dashboard and load NZB Dev. Your default username and password is Elf Hosted. In a future update, we will remove the login page since this is protected by our SSO anyway. Now that we're logged in, go to Settings, and we're going to add our own Usenet provider's details here. I'm using Easy News. Your maximum connections will vary per provider. With Easy News, I think it's 60. And I found that 8 connections per stream works reasonably. Test the connection and save. Go back to your dashboard and launch Plex. If Plex says no available server, it's still restarting. Wait a few minutes and try again. Let's add our folders. So we're going to browse for media folders, navigate to storage, some links, movies. Should be empty, yes. And do it again for movies 4K, storage, some links, movies 4K. In this case, we've got two folders so that we can keep a resolution at HD and a resolution at 4K for the same content, giving Plex clients the chance to choose which one to stream. Add another library, this time for TV shows. Again, we'll navigate to storage, some links, series this time. And again, same deal, storage, some links, series 4K. Done. We have two libraries. They should both be basically empty, and we can complete. That's Plex ready. Let's go back to our R's now. Let's start with Radar. We need to connect each of the R's to our Plex account so that the R's can tell Plex when to scan for new content. So go to Settings. Connect, click the new connection button, Plex Media Server, Do start the OAuth. This will basically confirm against Plex that you're logged in. And before saving, change the host value just to Plex. We're not using any complicated servers here. Internally, every server is called Plex. And save. Let's do the same for the others. And we're done. Now the R's are ready. Finally, we need to load our Usenet indexer in. We could do it manually through each R, but that's what Prowlr is for. So launch Prowlr, and you'll see the three predefined torrent indexes that we use. We need to add our Usenet indexes. So search for your indexer, or add it as a generic Torisnab indexer. In my case, I have one for Althub. I paste my API key, I test, and save. Now that the indexer exists, I click on Sync App Indexes to push this out to all of the other R's. And we're done. If we were to look at Radar now, and look at his indexes, there's the indexer I just pushed. Once we confirm that our indexer has arrived in our R's, we may need to disable the ones we don't want to use. So for example, if we don't want to search for torrents, we should turn off torrent searching so that we don't get results that get stuck in a queue. And finally, again for each R under Download Clients, we want to enable NZDB Dev and disable the existing decipher if we're not using it. You can run both in parallel. 
Let's test by adding a movie. There's White Zombie, and we'll add him. That was it. He's been searched for, found, downloaded, added to NZBD Dev, and you'll find White Zombie here. Additionally, Plex should have been notified, so if I was to look at Plex, pick my films directory, library, and maybe do a first scan. Ah, because it's not really recommended being 100 years old, but it's in the library and I should be able to play it. And there we are. So to run through the configuration again, in every R, we need to have enabled the NZB dev download client like this, and optionally disable decipher if we don't want it. Likewise, you may need to disable torrent indexes if you end up getting results that can't be downloaded. And then whatever you add to your R's will be sourced from your Usenet indexer if it's available, it'll be added to NZB Dev and represented as a file in your Simlinks, which Plex will then believe is a full movie and add to your library. So those are the basics. From here on, happy streaming.